Uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will basically show you a new tool that I deployed on my website freemediatools.com so this tool allows you to convert any PNG or JPG image to scalable vector graphics so SVG image SVG image are very special images which can be embedded in the browser it is editable SVG so this is a tool guys you can try out the link is given in the description of the video so here if I choose any file any ordinary image let's suppose this image I take and if I click download SVG file the image will be uploaded first of all with this progress bar animation and then the SVG file will be downloaded as an attachment you can see that this is our SVG so this is the this is basically an SVG file guys so it can be embedded in the browser itself if you check out the view page source this is the different kinds of tags which are there this is the SVG tag for the image right here you will see that so we have various path tags here so SVG stands for scalable vector graphics it has various set of you can see how many this is ending tag of SVG so signifying that this is the SVG image so SVG has dot SVG extension right here you can pick any image of your choice guys so it basically converts images and we will try to replicate this tool guys how I built this tool inside Node.js Express and we are using two libraries in conjunction with each other which first library is Portrace Portrace basically guys it will first of all convert your image to PPM file it's a very open source module in which works with your images and then in order to the second library we are using is image magic it's basically again an open source image based library in order to convert images from one format to another we will convert that ppm file to the svg file using this image magic so quite a lot to do in the tutorial guys so let's start the tutorial so you can basically convert any S image to svg so first of all the full source code is given guys of this tool if you want to basically purchase the full source code you can go to the description and you can purchase it from either stripe.com or paypal in uh, both the currencies indian rupees or united state dollar the link is given after that you will get this directory structure so basically this is our form guys basically a form which contains this form tag we have also a label here where we allow the user to select the input file we have the progress bar class or bootstrap then we have a button so here we are including the bootstrap cdn right here at the top we are also using jquery as well guys and then we are basically manipulating we are checking if the user has uploaded image file or not in all my tools guys this interface is this code is almost constant here basically we are making two upload requests first of all we are uploading the file so you need to make basically upload the file first of all and secondly now we are making the second post request which is image to svg so this will actually convert our image to svg and now we need to basically make these two requests so first of all inside our backend we are basically including express malter and uh, child process from that child process we will execute we are executing our method and uh, just inside your public directory guys make a uploads directory here all your files will be uploaded that you upload in the applications let me delete these files so first of all we will basically make that post request guys to upload the file so which was upload image to SVG so we will use this middleware of Malter which we define request response error and uh, we will basically return the path of the uploaded file as a path property which is request.file.path so now if you check basically guys the application the application will be running on local host 5000 we need to start our application sorry 3000 is it is running this is the same interface guys we select the image so now first of all the image will be uploaded guys in the console you will basically see this message upload successful so 
now what we need to do is that we now need to cre create that post request image to SVG. So right here guys inside this post request we will basically make use of these two commands. First of all we will basically uh, create the path for the ppm file ppm file path we will create date dot now function and then you will say that temp dot uh, ppm and svg file path let me also create it by using that date dot now function so the thing why we are using date dot now guys it will automatically create unique file names because this value will be unique every time that's why so now we will use the execute method guys first of all now we will use the portrace command so you need to install portrace guys inside your machine my portrace is already installed so you need to first of all convert your image to ppm file portrace then command is very simple uh, dash s and then actual file name that you need to create ppm file path and here we will say dash o svg file path so first of all guys I think we need to use image magic so inside I execute we will basically execute this command which is uh, for image magic if image magic is installed this can be accessible through magic command you can see I have already installed image magic so I can access this command magic after that we provide the file that we are getting request.body.path so we are passing the path of the uploaded file guys we can access it using request.body.path and then we will convert this into first of all ppm file so if this request is successful guys we will get our path and uh, inside this we will execute another command here again again execute another command which is now this time will be the portrace command so portrace dash s and we now we will provide the ppm file path as an input and then we will say dash o for the output file and here we will create the svg file path the output file so again standard error standard output and this time guys we will basically return out the path response.json path will be svg file path that's all so now we have all already have the download request guys this download request is common in all my tools that we created on free media tools this actually download the output file as an attachment and after that it is deleting it using the file system module very simple so when we basically get this download we are basically calling download request so if I just refresh this application so if I check the input field click download and now you can see that the application is working perfectly so so you can see that guys the it is very much easy how we can convert our or ordinary image to a scalable vector graphics so SVGs are very much important guys because in many instances you need SVGs you can see I'm running on your local host not on the actual website so if you need this source code you can go to the description and purchase it the link is given check out the full description and thank you very much guys for watching this video and I will be seeing you in the next one